Hello friends and beautiful people. I am out in the high tunnel. Um, if you remember, last Saturday we started seeds and I ended up starting, let me flip you around, I ended up starting about 20 flats and then um, let's come over here and they go all the way down through there. So I was uh, actually going to start more and the wind was so bad in the there was a, a thunder boomer that was coming through that was pretty black. Hubs was worried it was going to have lightning, so he made me come in and stop. He didn't want me being out here in all this metal, <laughs> go figure, <laughs> while it was lightning. So here I am. Um, lots, lots going on in our world. Um, we had one of our sons was in a really bad car accident last Thursday, not this past Thursday, but the one before. And he and his wife and our grandson, uh, they, they totaled the car. It was a group of kids, T-boned them, spun them around a circle, hit a guardrail. And I've been a hot mess ever since then. They were doing reconstructive surgery on his hand on Tuesday. And they were going to replace the nerves in his hand. He split his, let me set you down so I can show you what they did or what they were doing. So this part of his hand on both sides split wide open and they were going to go in and replace some of the nerves and they got in there um, and it only needed to be some blood vessels so that was good news it's a quicker recovery time he came through it okay they're doing well but they had to get an attorney but other than that they're doing fine now but I've had that stress and then we've had the stress of you know our house has been on the market well, we weren't going to tell anyone when we went into contract again that uh, we were in contract because, first of all, we got the kids all worked up, and uh, secondly, both times it was from, with people from Nepal, and they didn't it didn't go through. And so there's no sense in getting everybody worked up if it's not going to go through. Well, the realtor posted it on Facebook. And then um, he also, you know, obviously changed the status of our home on Realtor. And we still haven't told our kids. Um, and the reason why is because we're still not 100% sure that this deal is going to go through. We did have the bank inspection this week, or not the bank inspection. We haven't had the bank inspection. We um, had the regular inspection this week and still haven't heard back from that. We're supposed to hear back from it today. Uh, last time we heard back next day so we've been on pins and needles since that inspection on Tuesday in the meantime um, we're not gonna we're not gonna remedy anything it's it's it is what it is but they were pre-approved for one amount the contract was for more than that so we don't know that this is gonna go through and I felt like we should tell the kids hubs felt like we needed to wait and now if they see it online then who are they going to yell at? It's going to be me again, which is a big fat bummer because last time it was, uh, it was off the chain. So there's been a lot of stress and anxiety with all of that. Selling a house is, is very, very stressful. Buying a house is stressful. Moving is stressful. Moving a farm is even more stressful. Moving a farm to businesses and a house is even more stressful. So we've just been, um, hubs has been more than ouchy and um, I get it. Everyone's anxious. I, I understand why the kids are upset. I understand his anxiety because I'm feeling the same kind of way, but here we are. Um, so today I don't feel like, didn't feel like doing anything. Um, I'll just be straight up about it. I was going to go out and gather up some of my stuff out in the garden and uh, the, with the winds and then we're supposed to get some more rain. I just said, you know what, forget it. I'm not going to do it. So I made myself get up and get out. So that's why we're out here in the high tunnel. I got some um, plants that I had ordered um, when we gave up last time. I got them in the mail, so I wanna unbox them and make sure they're all watered. And then I wanted to water, again, everything that I had started last weekend. So that's where we are on the farms. Another thing that I have to do today is I have to run around and take pictures. Um, like we want to take pictures of this bracing on the high tunnel because, you know, it, we 
had issues last year or two years ago two years ago when those winds came through with the rain at the same time and um, the way that they have I mean you wouldn't believe the winds that this thing is held up under now so we want to make sure that we're doing the same kind of bracing because we designed and, and built this and uh, you know, it's not like we can buy a kit so we've got that going on we got to run around and take pictures of um, honestly the one of the things that's awesome is you can look at what you did wrong and you can look at what you did right and you can fix it so we're um, excited to do that um, one of the things we did wrong is the compost I don't like the way our compost is set up it is set up with pallets don't mind that um, it's set up right in between the chicken barn the high tunnel and the garden perfect it follows right along those permaculture rules the problem is he put pallets on the front and that's because the last time we did it we didn't put um, anything to stop the chickens from getting in it and they were throwing compost out when they were working it they did a great job working it but we had compost all over the ground in front of it and hubs didn't like that so he puts these pallets on the front well first of all I can't do the barn by myself anymore because I can't for a, to do the whole big barn when you're cleaning it out lifting it up and over all those pallets to put it in the compost bins and then how do you get it back out you have to go get a drill unscrew it take the pallet off the front get what you want and then try to get that pallet back on the front again and it's just I want something that I can do by myself and so if I have to build it myself I will or um, you know if Hudson is more open to listening to um, my needs on that then I mean he always says don't get me wrong he is always willing to help me but if he doesn't have time then I have to pick something else to do until he does have time and he will always make time when he can but when I want to do something I want to do it now I'm, um, we're both known for our patience <laughs> so there's that and then um, that was one of the things that um, I feel like we did wrong um, another thing that I really enjoy are all the raised beds he wants to our and now I have the absolute correct numbers on our high tunnel it is 20 by 40 I love the width the width is perfect um, he is going to make the next one 20 by 40 but he wants me to give up are you ready for this some of my garden space if he makes me a bigger high tunnel um, not gonna happen so uh, what I'll what we'll do is in all seriousness we will um, we'll start with fewer and then if it's not enough then we'll expand it I get it um, he doesn't seem to think that we'll have it um, you know we're getting older and he wants to make sure we have the time to deal with it I think we will especially uh, given where we're gonna be how we're gonna be there and um, all of that um, all I can say right now is that there are several Amish farms for sale once you know who to talk to um, without a realtor so none of them are on realtor.com um, and there are a couple that we really really love um, I would be lying if I said we don't have one picked out that meets just about all of our needs um, and I'm oh my goodness what in the world is this it's like Christmas out here I'm unboxing so um, I do have one picked out we we do have one picked out and uh, we haven't told the kids about it yet and we will eventually I'll show you it's gonna be stinker to lift up can you see these are all from um, Jackson and Perkins, and I have not, I think this is the first time I've really ordered from them before. I've ordered a lot from um, Bluestone Perennials, and as far as um, actual perennial plants go, some of the ones that I have ordered here, I have ordered because either I didn't want to um, wait for the plant to mature 
or I've struggled to get them to uh, germinate in the past. Uh, now that I've studied more, some of them I might be able to, but some of them not. Um, one of the things I ordered, we'll just go ahead and unbox you, uh, maybe. I ordered some fire spinners. But I ordered some, I'm going to leave it in here because like it's uh, it's a little bit of an ordeal to get it out of these boxes, but they did a really good job packing it, is the uh, red creeping thyme that people are using for uh, ground cover. Yeah, I can't get it out. But it's um, it looks just like regular thyme. And uh, I had a specific place here I was going to plant that, but since we're moving we're just going to leave it planted in the box and keep watering it and uh, see what happens but hopefully by the end of today or Monday at the latest we will be locked down on whether or not we are truly we are in a contingent contract but we will know whether we are in a true contract that's going to close um, either by late today or um, well not by late today by late Monday um, late today we'll know where we stand as far as um, what they're thinking for remedy. Our other inspection that we had gotten with the other contract, there were only two things that were critical and we've already addressed them. We even addressed some of the things that weren't critical uh, just because we wanted to be good people. So that's all I know for right now. I'm going to get to uh, watering because uh, Hubs and I have decided that to um, keep our minds busy and our ourselves busy and to still be doing something we are going to do all of our honey today and if he wants more uh, elderberry syrup we're gonna have to do more honey today <laughs> and he's been um, he's been sick so he uh, has been putting I've been making a special tea for him and he's been using honey with tea and he's been drinking it like three times a day and using a lot of honey and we're just about out <coughs> <coughs> And that cough is nothing like what he has. What I have right now is the dryness in here. All right, friends. Until next time, be blessed. Be a blessing. And hopefully I'll have some good news for you in the next few days.